bring all of your roommates. Oh, no! One touch and please! title. Today is a truth or drink with my new roommate. Wait, tequila or vodka? I got feeling. Shot glasses. Here's the lineup. <laughs> Hello, new Hello. roommate. Oh. Guys, so much has happened and this is kind of like a bring bring hey I have so much to tell you and this is the video for it. So Nikki and I are gonna be doing a truth or drink We already did part one on her channel. So if you guys want to watch that I don't know if you want to watch it in order I don't know if it really get you really give a f but watch part one on her channel We're gonna do part two right now and we have all the questions Andre's gonna be asking it and I kind of think that we should start with like a celebratory shot just because we barely drink in your video Yeah, I'm gonna get up though. I already okay, have half. Wait, let's do a half yeah. celebratory shot. I already had three shots and yeah. I we didn't eat that much today, so we gotta be careful. <laughs> Ready? And five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. Get on with the questions. I screenshotted. Uh, oh. Have you guys ever gotten in a really bad fight? I don't think so. There was only the only time that I was like, I feel like we butt heads was when you were like, come to Milan. Did we? <laughs> like that? Like <laughs> were you pissing me? <laughs> now she's finally telling me this. I didn't know you were upset. <laughs> Guys, that is out of context. I invited her to Milan, and then Europe got a little scary. And then I told her maybe she's it's like, not a good I'm idea. I'm on my flight. I'm landing on Saturday. And you're like, I'm leaving on Saturday. I'm like, okay. And then our, my flight kept getting moved because I was scared <laughs> yeah. to get on a fucking airplane. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. And that probably looked really shady. Like, I was like, I'm leaving. And then I stayed. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it just came out right now. Why didn't you ever say anything sooner? <laughs> Back, but if I didn't get my money back and Expedia didn't give me my money back, I would have said something. But it is fine. It is fine. Okay, we, your battery's <laughs> dying already. Oh, sh this is a bad omen. I don't know why. Whenever I take shots, I just want to keep taking them. Like I know it's dangerous. I'm like keep keep asking more questions. We're little. We we'll, like get drunk so fast. Is there a rule for bringing boys home? I don't really think so. I don't really care. I'm dissociating right now. <laughs> <laughs> I like. I'm so comfortable. I don't want to focus my eyes. <laughs> I love this. To focus. I, I love like, this. I'm really comfortable. Right now. <laughs> Guys, please watch Nikki's videos first. I swear, like we talk like normal people. Sorry, <laughs> this is part two. Okay. Okay. Rank your friends from toxic to non-toxic. I'm gonna say this. I don't know if anyone's gonna hate me. I can edit it out later. But I feel like I feel like Haley and Zena are so like pure and genuine and nice. And I truly genuinely feel like they have your best interests at heart. But I also feel like some of your team does not. I actually have heard this so many times. Really? Yeah. I have heard this so many times. Wow. Wow. And I think I'm having telepathy with you. <laughs> I've heard this from so many people. <laughs> Wait, we're going to stop recording for a second. <laughs> Zena pop in, come here. I love Zena and I feel like she's one of your genuine like friends. My channel, we love Zena. Everyone but loves it's because Zena. it's because she's a Scorpio. <laughs> Scorpios are loyal, but you can't cross her. Zena always goes, don't cross me. I'm good, but don't cross me. What did you say the tail? I said, if you cross me, the tail comes out and it'll hurt. <laughs> I feel like that's why we're like, we're stubborn. nice until I'm nice happens. until you yeah. look. The Scorpio. She will come but out. the difference is she confronts, I ghost. I'm a, I need mm. to stop being a ghost. I'll, I'll keep annoying you until yeah. you answer. I have mm -hmm. to confront. This is, this is why we work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wait, I, that was, that answer was so whoa. But, yeah. Wait, what do you think about my friends? I love hanging out with you by yourself and I love everyone that you hang out with individually. But I think sometimes when it's a group of influencers, now that like I'm doing music more than I am being an influencer, Influencer, I feel like I, I don't relate as much as I used to mm -hmm. like to all the influencers because I remember what it's like to live like for the content live for the views live, live for, for the, the content, content live for the trips and like mm -hmm. I feel like my priorities change and I feel like sometimes I feel like the boring one with everybody because I'm an independent artist so I'm like funding my own music career so I feel like I have budgets that I didn't used to have and like everyone I remember being just like just an influencer just throwing around money and I feel like sometimes that's like it's like a culture 
culture shock because also like being in Pennsylvania and an independent artist and then coming to LA with a bunch of influencers, it's just a little bit of a culture shock, mm -hmm. but um, it's a blast every time. I just, if anything, like I just feel sometimes like awkward or uncomfortable or that I'm boring. I don't think anyone thinks you're boring. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't think anyone thinks that. Drink all of your roommates. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I feel like you've had so many on rotation. I know. Chloe was my first roommate. Mike was my second roommate. Brianna was my third roommate and you're my fourth. I'm lucky number four. Well, my brother, but we're not gonna count my brother because he's my brother. It's really hard because you guys are so different. It's like comparing apples and oranges. It's so hard. I think, okay, time-wise, Chloe was the longest, Meg was the second longest, and you and Brianna are kind of like, like shorter ones. I don't know how to justify this. I don't know what this is. Drink or be honest. I want to drink because I love all of you. I can't rank you. Are girls more fun to have sex with their guys? <laughs> I love this question. I love this question. We were talking about this earlier. Did you ever get a drink? Shut up. Complicated. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel like girls are way more fun because okay to me and at least from my experience I've noticed that men are more focused on getting their own selves off whereas women are more focused on getting you off That's the f***ing tea. It's like it's rare to find a man that's really focused on getting you off It's really 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 rare and if you do find one then you got to snatch them up But I feel like for the most part women I think like, girls are hornier too. Yes. No one talks about that Yes. Like I think guys are hornier in the beginning, but then in a long-term relationship girls, girls are always, always wanting to Always and boys are just eh. And I swear, all of my gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girls, after a long time in a relationship, it's always the girls that are begging to have sex with their partners. That's tea. What does that mean, boys? Answer in the comments. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Ah! It's a Thursday night. Like, we're gonna get in these I know. You know, we're gonna play Britney Spears later and dance on the pole. Featuring our pole. You gotta send me a snippet of this for my boring ass video. Craziest thing that's happened to you all faded. I almost fell asleep like, during sex one time. <laughs> Whoa. I, like, I feel like that would feel good. I loved it. I love that feeling of like kind of being asleep. You're like dr half dreaming, half in like a- Half dreaming. Half in a half euphoric dreaming. state. Yeah. It's like yeah. sex mi mixed you with dreaming. You know what? Everyone like, says that the best time to manifest is that that state in between dreaming and being awake. I love that. Isn't that crazy? That's, That's why people, they do these, um, people like will listen to YouTube videos of like manifestations right before they go to sleep and they truly genuinely believe it works because that state in between falling asleep and being asleep is the perfect time. It's like your subconscious listening to it. I'm gonna do that now. It's a thing, it's okay. on YouTube. I forget what it's called, subliminals. Subliminals. People do that. I forgot what the question was. No, the craziest thing that's happened to you while you're faded. The walls start like turning and twisting and like you get kind of dizzy. Oh yeah, one time I thought I was breathing fire. <laughs> <laughs> and I was in the Uber and I had to put the window down and I was like <gasps> <laughs> And then they took the dr Uber driver willingly took me through Wendy's and on Hollywood Boulevard so. <laughs> Did you get a frosty? I got no like one of those sandwiches and I felt like everything was Why burning I don't would have been cool. I don't know. It would have put out your It was hair. after my Bellamy hair extension party. I love Bellamy. I know. Which Euphoria character do you think you're most like? Rue. <laughs> Many reasons, but um, I didn't think you, I thought you would say Maddie. I was gonna say Maddie. You're Maddie. I would say Maddie. I'm not as like ballsy as Maddie. I'm yeah. like, I have bad coping, like Rue. Like, I have a lot of emotions, and I'm just like, I'm gonna listen to sad songs. I need my ADHD meds. I need my Xanax. I'm out of my prescription. I it's wet. I like girls, like you know what I mean. Like, oh, true. So, like, but okay, but Maddie and her fucking babysitter. Oh, that was hot. Ooh, I, but I'm let's also Latina. Around to that real quick, huh? I'm Latina, so like Maddie. But like, true. I have Cassie's like desperateness that <gasps> I'm working on. No, I used to. No, actually, correction. I used to have. Used to, not used anymore. To. No, I went from not Cassie. Anymore. So a love child of Rue and Maddie. Mm -hmm. I was saying Maddie. I love Maddie. Who makes more money? And Jules. I feel like we're equivalent because you have girls playing girls like and I have Nikki and Gabby. So. Yeah. I we have pretty equal. Sorry. Thank you for <laughs> Sorry, I'm disgusting. <laughs> we have we have separate like sources of income outside of our vlog channels, and I feel like I feel like it evens itself out. And we talk about brand deals, but I low key feel like I mean this year you're doing well, but like I feel like I mean, feel like you have long term, but you have more like kind yeah of, like, one off. Scouting. I have like partnerships, mm -hmm. like they come back. Mm -hmm. uh, I know, wish this I is like say, our dating life. <laughs> 
It's okay. <laughs> Adeline, are you with anyone right now? Oh my god! <laughs> I love that that was just for you. <laughs> I love that how private your life is. It's inspiring. It's, what is it? What do people say? Private, private but not a secret. secret. I love that. <laughs> You're inspiring. Like, I feel like I used to give everything on. <laughs> What tattoo would you give each other and why? I love this one. You want to go first? Or do you want me to go first? You go first. <sighs> okay, when I think of you, first of all, I think of Bull because Taurus. But you already have that. So I'm thinking, uh, you have a bunch of like scattered ones throughout your arm. So I definitely want to add to your arm. This one specifically because you don't have a lot on this arm. Mm -hmm. I would add, mm, what goes well with you? I would add, hmm, you don't have any bi tattoos. I would add something like, like a woman's body or like, um, like a queen of hearts, like something like that. That's cute. Yeah. I want to edge you up a little bit. <laughs> I know, I don't have any, like, all mine are hidden. I want to give you a, I want to give you a trip, Sam. I knew you were going to say that. I knew you were going to say that. Like, I'm not doing that. Like, girls to f***ing <laughs> girls, Sam. Like, I'm not f***ing doing that. Write the word yellow. No. GSG. No. I would give, like, like cute I'm blocky sick. letters above your ass. I'm sick. I'm sick. <laughs> Have you ever compared each other slash compared each other's successes? Okay, I wanted to put this one in because I feel like as a YouTuber, it's so easy to compare. Oh, this person's views are doing well. Oh, mine's yeah. not doing so well. Oh, this one's doing well. Oh, this, should I be doing this if I'm not doing this? Like, will I do this if I do well? Like, blah, 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 blah. So I feel like as a YouTuber, it's inevitable to compare yourself to each other. But I feel like recently, since we've been doing YouTube for literally a decade, I feel like we have been leaning off towards putting so much effort into YouTube. YouTube and putting more effort, having a work-life balance and putting more effort into our personal lives. I and agree. I've we're in that together right we're, now. We're both focusing on our personal lives together. Yeah. I don't know. I, I feel like us two years ago, we're literally just content, content, content. Yeah. And I feel like now, like outside of YouTube, we have like bigger things we're focused on. I think like our personal lives and our business goals, I think mine is like, I want to solidify exactly, like I want to I want to manifest and create the exact reality I've always wanted my entire life. I feel like I want, I know I deserve, I know what I deserve and I know I want that. And in order to get that I need to start catering my personal life and stop running and hiding behind work and I think mm -hmm. you're the same way yeah and I think like we're actually taking the time to like have fun off of our phones but I also think on top of that we're putting our energy in like your like cl clothing line like girl supporting girls and like mine is like my music career mm -hmm. I think like we have other focuses off YouTube but I think we genuinely film YouTube videos because it is a hobby mm -hmm. so but I think like views used to like I literally used to live in Pennsylvania for the views for the views I would I was like, nobody mm. likes me anywhere else. I'm gonna stay in PA. I'm gonna, even if I have no nothing to do outside of my content, even if I have, even if nobody's around and everyone's working normal jobs and nobody relates to me, I'm just gonna keep myself here because I can't see my content doing good anywhere else. And I think like this year, I, like we both have just been like, we realize the benefit in having a good personal life and how that will benefit our content. Exactly. Like they go hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I think two, three years ago, we only cared about content. Mm -hmm. And it translates so much. And I feel like it's it's almost as if you're watching your best friend and, and like you FaceTime every once in a while and you're like, bestie, like, you're not okay. Like, I want to see you doing the best, you know? Yeah. I don't know. You don't want to see your friend, like, going through sh yeah. like, and I don't know. What was the question? I don't even remember, I don't even the, remember question. the question. Do you compare each other's successes? Uh, oh, so what is the answer? I mean, I would say, yeah, like, a six months ago, but I think things are changing fast. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I literally don't even remember, the, like, the last time I looked at people's, like, pages. Like, I've mm -hmm. just been so MIA because we've been in our personal lives. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's natural to compare, though. Yeah. I think sometimes I'll be like, her feed looks so good. Yeah. Like your themes are always like- Wait, me? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I don't have a theme and I feel like you have a theme. <laughs> I feel like Andre be like, your feed be like a little crazy. <laughs> I like it. I feel like Andre's always guiding me. He's always like, your feed looking a little crazy right now. You have to have one of those in your life to be like, boo, you're doing great. Boo, you should work on this. <laughs> they keep it real. Andre's that for me. I love that though. Next one. Hear me out. Body shots. <laughs> Woo! Why are your like questions so much more cooler than mine? <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, where are we doing it? Oh sh! Wait, off of your belly button? Yes. Okay, typically I feel like body shots are off of titties, but it's okay. I'm drunk right now, but if I was sober, like, dude, the sh that comes out of my belly button honestly smells. <laughs> but it's okay. Don't 
Don't even worry about it. I'm gonna do it. I oh, have, you have a little Audi. I have an Audi. Oh, the, yours doesn't smell. The piercing people told me they couldn't do a belly button or on me when I was 18 because okay. I have an Audi. It's a tiny one. Go. Aw. Why is yours deep set? Jesus. <laughs> yeah. I'm not. Can I, I like. Can, can I, I do a body shot off of like. Let's do it. Yeah, she just right said here. her belly button smells, so I'm not. <laughs> let's going. do it like right here. I can't believe you just admitted right to your belly button smells. <laughs> Everybody's belly button. You have an Audi, like everywhere with it. Oh. <laughs> I hit people and I laugh. <laughs> Wait, it's funny. Like, <laughs> stay, stay. Okay. <laughs> Today's not hair wash day. <laughs> I got nothing. Today is not a hair wash day. Get eight one eight. <laughs> Can you pass me a paper towel? <laughs> oh no. I feel like we should have one more question. Favorite drunk night out story time. I feel like my favorite night out that we did was the classic, classic cat. cat. But oh, I wait, think it's my I favorite because I don't remember it. Can I take what I remember? Okay. <laughs> tell you, tell it was you Adeline's remember. birthday. Oh, it I was, was my like, birthday. I was like, all right, I'm gonna buy her a bottle. Oh, I remember. We're at this expensive LA club. And for what? Like for and what? I just go, I'm like almost black out. I'm like, I'm buying you a bottle. I remember, and I was like, don't do that. And then. <laughs> I get the cheapest thing on the menu. It said it was 500, but I'm shook because I got her a bottle of Patron. And then all of a sudden, I sign a bill for $900. <gasps> and my friends had to tell me, because I was blackout out when I signed the bill, that I paid $900 for a bottle. But happy birthday! <laughs> so casually, oh I woke up and I was but like, that bottle took us from zero, zero to, to blackout. <laughs> like we blacked out because of my Patron bottle. Mm -hmm. mm. But I think that's gonna be the last question of the video. All right. Oh, also, can I say something about that night? I all I remember is like I was walking up the stairs to the apartment, and all I heard was you being like, "Alan," and I'm like, "What?" And you're like, "Um, tipsy." <laughs> or you're like, "Um, oh, blacked out." What? I did not do that. No, no I didn't. you didn't say. You, you're like. I'm blacked out, and you're really stumbling, and I was like, okay, <laughs> and then we just went to bed. <laughs> All right, guys, let us know if you want to see more roommate vlogs, honestly. Mm -hmm. We could vlog. I'm here for a while, so. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Nick is my new roommate. Stay tuned because Andre might move in too. Oh, God. <laughs> us three? Can we put bunk beds in you the should, room? You should keep, you should keep <laughs> in. Can we, wait, no, can we keep literally redo the room together and do an artsy bunk bedroom? Let's do it. <laughs> Like and a, then like my rent gets cheaper, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, like literally, let's get bunk beds. A cabin. Like. <laughs> All right, um, I'm sweating my butt. Balls off. We love you guys. Make sure again to watch Nikki's part one on her channel. Um, we answer more questions here. We drink more, I think. Yeah, but we love you guys so much. We'll see you guys in our next daily vlog. Not daily vlog. I don't daily uh. vlog. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's pizza, and I know it smells too. <laughs> So, <laughs> Why just like breathe anything. it in so deep? You're so weird. <laughs> I wanted to actually see if it smelled. Ew! Like your belly button? <laughs> You're so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.